so far guys we have seen couple of things right and let's go through the you would have still confused and i believe like in what is the pod what is the deployments and this one and so forth right so i'll go ahead and quickly delete all the deployments we have let me pause the video let me take you the examples of pod so far we have seen the deployments again i will say we'll discuss more about the deployments later right so that you will just go through the couple of smaller things now so that it becomes easy for you to understand right so i have created one you know another branch here which holds the pod pod configuration right and now if you see because that's that's, that's when you're working in kubernetes and you know when you're working in some orchestration system right you should be familiar with these things because you know the kubernetes is orchestration orchestration system right so now if you see every time you would be hearing pod right earlier i used to talk about the containers only when i used to create the containers there right but if you see when you when when we was creating the kind here the kind was deployment right so when it was the deployment then if you see there guys and all the pods we was creating was indivisible there if you was to do a cube ctl get pod right you would have seen multiple pods are running there but what is pod right pod is basically a logical naming unit in the kubernetes right within one single pod you can have a multiple containers remember this within one pod there may be a one multiple containers running so that's what we call it pod which is holding multiple containers so most basically you will never use pod in the deployment because this is not recommended and this is not recommended to have multiple pod within the same container that's what most of the time you will see you would be using the deployment type only but if you see the api version here which is i'm using the v1 now i'm not using app one slash v1 so <coughs> to create this pod right we will use the api version here so just remember guys so as soon as you will start creating the more resources in the kubernetes right you will understand you will see every every api means pod api has a or deployment api has a different you know api versions there so the api version for the pod would be a v1 right and the same again the metadata we are saying two containers here we are creating two containers within the same pod specification is restart policy is never and we are sharing one volume here volume says share data you know the good good thing about the cloud is whenever you are provisioning any of the shared resources it will be automatically provisioned you don't have to worry about anything next if you see we are creating two containers here one container is called the nginx container and it is attaching the shared board data that we created here this is also can be called the stateful application right so we are saying and the mount path should be so whatever the this shared hyphen data is there it should be mounted with the usr share nginx.html inside the container we are again creating one debian container which is binding this shared data right it is saying the mount path would be pod hyphen data and inside that container we are running one command and creating one index.html file inside the pod data right and if you see here i have already attached the shared data here i mean i'm saying the shared data should be mapped inside the container with this name as soon as it will map right this shared folder will have this index.html right so your container will up and running so it will be you know this shared hyphen data dot as will hold index.html outside right so this container would be crashed or deleted automatically once this configuration is done here right so what i will do is kubectl apply hyphen f and pod dot uh, so you can see kubectl apply should be used to create the resource either we could have used the kubectl create for this also if you do now kubectl deployment you will not see anything here kubectl get deployment you will not see anything here but if you see now kubectl get pod you will see two containers this is just a name 
right one out of two containers are running so there is one container is running only right so now if you want to expose these container again the same things expose pod right and the pod name is this so you can give the hyphen hyphen type so ctl expose pod two containers hyphen hyphen type equals to no Using selector, couldn't retrieve the selector while selection of library creation pod has no labels and cannot be exposed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's that was not my actually. I wanted to show it to expose it right now, right? So you can see the pod is running here, right? So that's how you can see within this container, right? And the pod can hold a uh, multiple containers here. Always remember this. If you want to describe this cube CTL. Describe pod and the name here, right? It will describe everything for you. What all things has happened there? So as you can see, guys, there two containers. The node IP is this. Order annotation is this. So it is basically what it what it has done. Nginx container and then it, it created the mount points here see here from this right and after creating this you will come down and see echo it run the hello world and just put the data inside here with the logical name and if you come down here from the shared data and you see it has given the read write permission to it the pod data from the shared data right and so you can see the other things here also right what all things had done right this it was scheduled successfully assigned to default namespace to containers right this this was the node where it is running right it was pulling pulled created started pulled pulled created and started you can see all the detail here right when it when it pulled the nginx container when it pulled the debian containers and what all happens